Yeah, he's got an Invis rune. He's got level 2 Shikuchi. Jerex is kind of behind the tower. He is going to Clarity. Now Mad may be getting dope here. There's a wave, but it, it's going to fall to the tower pretty quickly. Here they go. They're going to drop the Swarm with Jerex in trouble. Shikuchi and First Blood going the way of this Weaver. So great rotation with that Invis rune to pick up a nice little kill there for Navi. Jerax is in some trouble. They will have the uh, battery salt to work with. Here comes Fly, though. They're going to pop the torrent. Radiance will miss. Dandy running in as well, and Fly has to drop the tombstone. Inside the pit we go. It's going to be one dead. It looks like it might be two. Good ghost ship, though. Can they turn this around? Roger's getting low. Matt has a double damage rune. They're looking for more. Viper Strike coming in. Seneco is also getting chased down. No tail will get that kill. He might die to the storm, and he will. It's General with the Shikuchi. That gets the job done. The side trap about to come in, and Mad getting chased down by Crystallize. More than enough damage, and even the double raids will not save him. It's Triple kill for Dendi. What a fight coming in from Navi. They were all there. They were all ready to go. Here comes the Viper. The Tombstone's going to get tacked down, and now you need to back up if you're OG. You cannot fight without that, I feel like. Hook shot. It found No Tail. General was behind enemy lines. Threw up the swarm. There's two man cogs coming in from Roger. And No Tail trying to get away, but he is in trouble. No ghost ship to help him out. They've got the shackles on the general. He's in trouble. The rays coming out. They will turn it into a one for one. Now they're going to find a huge fiends group taking down his four as well. So now a two for one for Navi. Well done there. Very fired as well, I believe. Tier 1 mid, Dendi has to throw up a side trap and back himself away. They even prop the drum charge for No-Tail. They want this tower. They're going to get it. He will get the last hit, so. Oh, General! Shackled up! They have the Master Boards. Is it going to be enough damage? He's going to be able to time up. here. He doesn't get the Aether Shock up from time, and Jerex didn't have enough mana anyways. Now Matt is rotated in. They need some vision, but here comes Crystallize. Oh, they really want this kill. They'll see General. He'll try to juke his way back and forth. Nicely done. Viper Strike elsewhere. They've got the Fiend's Grip. They'll take down S4 and Fly also dies elsewhere. General fighting up against Mad. General doing a lot of damage. Mad might get chased down if he's not careful. Shikuchi comes in. That's a kill. General will just rotate in and just kind of bait it out and get a kill easily. I don't think they can find this kill. They needed a bit more damage, but Danny was stunned, I believe, by that ghost ship, so he couldn't pop out that Desolator damage. This could be huge. They have Shackles coming in. Oh, the immediate Nightmare from Seneco, though. They're going to X him back, though. They still want this kill. They cannot find it. S4 wasn't there in time. He was looking for a Chronosphere, but Dendi just blinked himself away because he still had the Refraction up and ready to go. Can he get Jerex? He's so squishy. He's going to get dropped down. The Shackles will come in, but they have crystallized the Nether Toxin. They X marked himself. I think No-Tail back. He wants to jump in. S4, he's got the Chronosphere. Hits another the Viper. General will dodge it swiftly. He will time lapse his way away. They're not focusing this Viper at all, but they want General. One more hit will come out. The Ruck Room is about to go. We'll secure that kill for Mad, and they will turn into a one-for-one -one trade for now. No-Tail, he has the Ghost Ship ready to go. Crystallized still rather tanky. He has level 4 point out and corrosive skin here at this point, so not that much damage dealt, and Dandy had the Refraction. Seneco also gets hit by it, but there's too much damage, too much survival here from Navi. OG will have to back up. No Chrono ready. No time walk for S4. Not for two seconds. The urn taking him down. He will be able to get down to the low ground for now. And OG looks like they will back themselves up underneath this tier 2 tower, but uh... he has a hook shot. Maybe he can get out. He also has his team at the Roche pit. And they're they're roaching as we speak. They have the meld strike to do some damage. Are they going to go for this? They are. General's in now. No tell us to back himself up. There's the Fiend's Grip, the hook shot as well. No way to disable Seneco. They will actually get one kill. That's under the clockwork. It's blown up immediately. No tail will survive, but it is still a one for one trade as they drop the wards inside the pit. General now in, but there is a shrine that they will heal up at for OG. They might turn onto the Weaver. Still no Chrono for another 70 seconds. They won't be able to use that. A couple of side traps pop down. Dendi's really low. He cannot afford to die here. Mad still taking so much damage from General, though. He has to go for the TP. It's a double kill for Crystallize, and Fly will be next despite having the flesh gold. The ghost ship comes out. They will take down Dendi at the very least. No tail is still in doing a lot of damage. Crystallize needs to be careful. General scooching away. He's actually kiting them so damn well. The veal will get dropped down. He will use his time lapse and it's now his time to run for no tail. No ghost ship available. He's going to get caught and killed by Seneco. The brain sap came and he got the last hit with it. Now Jerex doing a lot of damage here with the Ether Shock, but this tombstone has done some serious work. Seneco has to go for the TP. They get the shackles off. They need more damage. Crystallize is so low that zombies will finally dissipate and Jerex is still going to work at this point. He Another Toxic coming in, the Flare comes out, and Crystallize will get an unstoppable spree. What a fight, my god. He's in there. No mana for S4. He has wand charges, though. He might have been able to time walk.
his life to secure the kill. He's down for 30. It's pretty low. They're gonna jump in. The torrent will come through. Just make sure there's nobody in there. They have Tombstone back up with the Flesh Golem in general. He's under a sentry right now. He needs to be careful. They have the Chronosphere ready, but S4 is not in position. And this is a lot of damage. The raid's coming in. He has to use the time lapse. The Chronosphere, it's gonna get dropped. They want this kill so badly. The Ghost Ship's gonna come in. That will secure it with the torrent along with it. Now coming back, it's now be crystallized. There's the Viper Strike, the Weaver. Time he actually, he bought back, but he's nowhere to time lapse back into the fight. Crystallize is getting low. This is dangerous right now. The Nether Toxin doing so much. The Fiends group coming in. Oh, but Crystallize about to get dropped. And he will. He will get a Wicked Six free before he dies, but he does give that away. Meanwhile, on the back lines, General is in. He brings down Mad yet again. And Dendi also doing some serious work. No tail on the run, trying to fight General. It's not going to work. This bug, like you mentioned, they want to squash it. They cannot do so. And it's going to be really, really farmed as well. So. Incoming! Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, that is a rough game for Jerax. Hookshot will miss, fly side steps is as Roger was trying to die by past that tier 2 tower. Torrent will hit up, the X marks the ghost ship, this would be a nice kill. It's a little bit difficult, but with raises, the nightmare save, you've got to be kidding me from Seneco. The Viper Strike coming in, and now Mad's gonna get turned down. General is in, the Shikuchi coming through, he's gonna turn on to No-Tail as Mad's already dropped down and dead. No mana left for No-Tail, he gets breaking, the mana break so much, it's actually ridiculous how much it does use the blade and the talent. They're gonna jump in S4, he should have the Chromosphere, but Crystallize is in. They'll drop it down, and it's just so tanky on all these heroes, they're gonna try to bring down Seneco. Now we'll drop the wards inside. They're going to trap up Crystallize. He's got the four step though. The shackles will come, but he's still fine. It looks like not enough damage to bring down this Viper. And uh, they're going to sleep S4 for now. Roger is back in. Battery sold. Cog's ready to go. Won't use it. Not yet. They'll drop the veil. The Cog pushed back. He's got mana. He does, but he will get up to the high ground very close. Almost going down. They will take Seneco down to the back lines for OG. So there's that. Jerax, please. Jerax, please. This was a bait. It was a bait. General might fall here. He's got no time up, so screw you away. But Dendi is in. He'll take down that shadow. I mean, finishing up the job. And, uh, wow. Okay. No. Right, Viper Strike. There's the hook shot. Just missing it. Hits on the creep as they just spawned. That was the only thing saving that. And it still might not even save him. He's taking down. Crystallize still trying to find this. Gets nightmared up. They really want this kill as the ghost ship was coming in. They can't find it though. The Nether Toxin. They'll turn on the S4 instead of the huge bean script coming in from Seneco. Now they're going to look for No Till next as well. And we'll drop him down. It's two dead. And uh, now it's going to be the Rax as well as Navi. They're looking like they might take this series here, Purge. Roger, like you mentioned in the beginning of the game, has done an excellent job roaming. He's gotten so many kills. He's been involved in so many fights. Yeah, he's got to find another hook shot as well, just Radiant's to make sure he can cement his status attack. in this game. But it won't get a kill, it won't lead into it. It will push them back over so they cannot defend the racks. Maybe they go for a Chronosphere, they found it on the two. They've got the Serpent Wards, Jarex looking, he's going to try to drop it here in a moment. Ether Shock, they're all really low, General will time lapse, and all of a sudden, all of that HP that they're missing is now back. They will get one kill, can they get anything else? Roger's still up, he has the Blade Mill running, now it drops down, Crystallize. He will back himself away. Dendi clears up these Serpent Wars on the other side. Roger's been caught. X marks Ghost Ship coming in. The Torrent along with it. Maybe they find the skill, and they do. And now Navi will back themselves up. So they get some kills on the supports, but that is it, Perch. That's all. They have yet to get that one big combo, and that's what they're looking for. And again, the late game potential is also there. You have a Chrono here. You have the uh, Mad Shadow Fiend doing a lot of damage. It's going to be tough. You're very tanking and Navi, but the game is not over, as you said. They're looking for the tier 2 hook shot in. On to 2. Beautifully done. The instant hex, though. The Serpent Wars, they're going to try to turn it to Rab of Mad. He's going to get Chrono up inside as S4 is trying to do something here. The Fiend's Grip is going. That'll be on to No-Tail. Mad's going to get dropped down. He's BK beat up, but it will not save him. They'll take 2. They might even take 3 as Fly is getting low. no tail still fighting for Crystallize, but again, the only hero down is going to be Roger for Navi, and they might find even more. Break comes out, they will get the kill. It's a double kill for Crystallize with a mega kill spree, and this might just end the game, or at least get them a tier 2 tower, but uh, this is really rough for OG. Great. All in this top lane now. They're going to be looking for now. Maybe you back up if you're Navi? We'll see. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Go ship, good force away. Dendi's alive. S4 looking for some damage. Still no Chronosphere. They'll find Crystallize. They need this kill. They might find.
hit one more attack. He BKBs. He's going to drop the Nether Toxin, getting chased down. They will secure the kill. Now Sineko as well, but No Tail getting hit up by General, getting chunked. The mana break is too much. Mad coming back in. BKBs now finally getting back up and ready to go. Hook shot again onto two from Roger. Another great Cogs. They will get Jerax as well. It's three down, two on the side of Navi at the very least. Maybe they find more, though. They're looking for Mad. The Meld Strike coming in. He has his BKB, but now down for another 60 seconds. They'll get the Tombstone along with it. A 29k advantage. Fly will finally buy back. He was the only one that had it other than Jerex. He can use it here in the next few seconds as well. So this is maybe a bit dangerous from Navi, but they're so far ahead. I don't think they really care at this point. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Radiant's tower what? has fallen. They have Chrono, he's gonna pop it, but again, he has Refraction up and he's not even taking any damage in general, still going to work. Now trying to get Fly, the time lapse back, the urn is up, it's the Spirit Vessel. He will get dropped, no, the Soul Orb keeps him alive along with the Decay. Roger really wants this kill, Flare back up, but Dendi, he will finish off S4 on the other side of the fight. They're about to get Mega Creeps here, General and Dendi are gonna head back up to the high ground. Jerex has got the Serpent Wards at the ready, he needs to use them. He's gonna keep this game going, and uh, he will drop them down. But Crystallize has bought bots. He's back up in five seconds. And again, no S4 for 40 seconds. Radiant's top barracks are under attack. Oh, Jerax is getting shredded. Crystallize's poison is too much damage. They're looking for Fly. He will just be in deep. Dendi pops the BKB. Trying to get the Tombstone. Crystallize takes a lot of damage, actually, with the Serpent Wars doing some serious work for Fly. The Nether Toxin, the auto attack damage from Crystallize is too much. The Hurricane Spike, they will finally get Mega Creeps. And OG, they're barely hanging on. They're going to try to find a feed for Sineko. Matt is in trouble. He's getting caught and killed, forced away. The Brains have all five dead for OG and Na'Vi. About to take this game. In fact, there is the GG. And a 2-0 victory for them as they will move on to the Grand Finals to play up against Team Liquid for EU. Dino victory. Yes.